30 second countdown begins. 30 seconds and we go. Right, this morning what we're doing, we're doing a ladder circuit. Yes, but it's a six exercise ladder circuit, not like the last one where it was a horrible 10. So today's gonna feel like a breath of fresh air. Only six exercises, and for once the exercises are pretty straightforward, okay? There's nothing too explosive, too dynamic. It's gonna give you a chance to maybe use this as a slightly, slightly more than active recovery. You're still gonna be working but it's still gonna give you the chance to open up and go for it. In three seconds, we'll start with jumping jacks. Let's go. So straight away, okay, first exercise. I'm doing this for 30 seconds. Nice, explosive, good form. Focus on keeping your shoulder blades together and squeeze together. Jumping out explosively and snapping those hands in. Good, so we're only doing this for 30 seconds and then we get 30 seconds rest. Good. So again, as always on the recorded version, get your warm-up done first, okay? This is not your warm-up. Relax. Okay, so 30 seconds rest. Typical ladder, we do exercise one, rest. Then we do exercise one and two, rest. Exercise one, two, three, rest. Until we've done all six, and then we start dropping off exercises until we've got no exercises left. This is gonna be short, sharp. And again, if you've done that big 10 exercise one a few Sundays ago, this will feel like nothing. It really will. <laughs> well, right, okay, we're back to it in three, two, one, jumping jacks, let's go. So again, this is gonna get your heart rate up nice and gradual. But I want you to focus on doing high quality reps. Heels shouldn't be touching the floor on these, okay? We're nice and light on the balls of the feet, jumping out, going as fast as you can. Good. In 10 seconds, we go straight into exercise two, which is simple inchworms okay so no press ups just inchworms at least for this run through stand by as soon as that buzzer goes we go so i walk out tall stand up tall so i'm walking out until i'm in that full press up position and then i'm walking in from the side i walk out full press up position walk in when you're walking in lift the hips and bend the knees okay so i'm walking out lift the hips and stand up tall Fast hands. Focus on trying to move your hands as fast as you possibly can. And keep it going. Relax. So now we rest. We've done exercise one and two. And now we rest. Keep sipping that water if you've got it. So now we do exercise one, two, and three. Again, most of you are probably more than familiar with how a ladder circuit works. This is going to be a good one today. Okay? It's going to get you moving. It's going to get your heart rate up. You're going to get a sweat on. And you're going to feel better for it. I know you will. So in five seconds, back to jumping jacks. Heart rates are up. Three, two, one, go. So make sure we're quick to react on these buzzers as well, especially on the transitions. Like I always say on the transitions, throw yourself into the next exercise, get the first rep done. You might not be set up perfectly, okay? But then you can adjust from rep one onwards. Don't faff about. Don't start trying to line your exercise mat up with the floorboard lines or something. Go, inchworms. Straight into the first rep. And again, that will set your head up to just keep that going. You might not be set up perfectly, like the feet might not be in the right position, etc. But after rep one, you can adjust. It's when you start introducing little rests. That's when mentally, you start, that's all you want is more rest. So next exercise is gonna be squatting out. So basically we're jumping out and jumping in with a squat. So we look like this. I'm jumping in, it's like a jumping jack. But when I jump the legs out, I'm going into a high quality squat, okay? Pulling those knees apart. Full foot is flat on the floor. Drive the toes into the ground. Push the hips back. All the usual squat mechanics are always harp on about. Good. And relax. Okay, that's those three exercises in. So now it's exercise one, two, three, four. So you can see each round is getting slightly longer than the last until eventually the longest one being the sixth. Okay, so jumping jacks again. Be ready for the buzzer. So now we're starting to get in the zone. 
Let's start pushing it now. Three, two, one, go. So with these jumping jacks, we're jumping up and jumping out, okay? I see jumping jacks getting done half assed all the time where people are just going, okay? Try to be nice, tall, proud. Keep all your limbs nice and sturdy and be explosive. Inchworms next. Stand by. When that buzzer goes, remember, feet together and go. There's no setup required. You just go. Again with these, make sure you're standing up nice and tall. Each rep. Squeeze the butt through. Next exercise, squat in out, straight into them, remember. Wait for that buzzer. Good, so feet together, feet out, and I'm away. Again, I'm not going crazy fast on my squat because I'm trying to do the best squats that I'm able to. Pull the knees apart, push the hips back, drive the toes into the ground, get that stability in the foot. Next exercise, full crunches. So we're lying on our backs and it's knees to chest. Go, like so, control. So when I say knees to chest, it's not knees to elbow, it's you're actually trying to get the upper body up, okay? Contract, bring it all together. Breathe out at the top, and it'll help the contraction. Straighten the legs out, try not to let the heels touch the ground, make it harder. And that is us, believe it or not, that is us. Four exercises in. Good, so we've got two more run-throughs until we're at the top of the ladder. Keep sipping the water if you've got it. Good, well done everyone. So heart rates are up, feeling warm. We're in more zones now. Let's start pushing it, let's keep pushing it. Five seconds, jumping jacks, stand by, go. So again, jumping jacks aren't easy. If you're doing them properly, they'll be getting the heart rate up. Oh, your legs are working, shoulders working. You're trying to pull the arms up and down. As if you're swimming, pull, good. Don't just go through the movement, soft. Be nice and forceful, inchworms, go. Inchworm, straight into it. Again, I'm walking out, lift the hips and bend the knees. So it should be like you're almost getting up out of a squat. That's why if some of you are finding that the squat and outs are quite hard, as then you already feel tired. If you're doing inchworms properly, you're getting up out of a squat. So you're still squatting in a way. Squatting out, stand by. There we are now. So feet together, feet out, go. Nice and light on when you're bringing them together. Nice light tap of the ground and straight back out. Focus on good squat mechanics always. Pull those knees apart, push the hips back. Keep the chest proud. Next exercise, remember, full crunches. Good, go. Get them right, okay? No farting about. Legs go straight, legs come up, lift the body. <sighs> try not to let the heels touch the ground. And rather than just try to batter reps out, squeeze, pause down. Get that controlled <sighs> contraction. Next exercise, we're stood up and we're doing shuffles. It's like a jumping jack, but forward and backward with the feet. <sighs> Pretty simple, go. We're up, and all it is, driving the arms, little shuffles. I'm keeping the knees soft, okay? So I'm not doing it with straight legs. I'm not doing it with bent legs, short, sharp. Imagine your flutter kicks. I want you to go fast as you can. So the faster you move the feet, faster you move your hands, sorry, the faster your feet are gonna go. So drive those arms, 
Okay, and it's a very short range of movement. It's almost like doing a flutter kick, relax. That should get your heart rate up, but you should feel your core moving those legs also. Good. Well, everyone already, this is the last ascent. So this is the longest run through you'll do. Six exercises on this one. 10 seconds and we go. Be ready. The first jumping jack in five, four, three, two, one, go. So this is run through six. Okay, this is the final climb of the ladder. And good news, it is a burpee, but even better news, it's a mountain climber burpee. So therefore, it's not gonna be as challenging on your CV as a regular burpee. So all we do, we burpee out, four mountain climbers, inchworms for now though, go. So like I say, we're getting that heart rate up. Exercises aren't too crazy today. It's giving you a chance to move through all the different planes of movement. Work all our muscles, get fresh blood in, get our heart rate up. Hopefully loosen you off if you're feeling stiff. But also, we can go for this as well. We can get a good workout out of this. Squatting out, let's go. No farting about, come on, let's go. Work with me here. Forget that pause, forget that fa fanning about is the nice way to put it. <laughs> Straight into that first rep, always. Full crunches after this. Get straight down, okay? We're only going to lie on the floor, for goodness sake. There's no setup required. Just fall down. Stand by. Go, so I'm down. Straight leg, straight body. I'm up, squeeze, down. Up, squeeze, down. That's the tempo that I'm after. Good squeeze, good contraction, as opposed to just trying to go for it. Lift that upper body off as best you can. Next exercise, shuffles. Standing up, stand by. We're up. Come on, straight away. Just go. Then you can adjust your position. Just start moving. Good. So I'm driving the feet. Flutter kicks by standing up tall. Keep the legs straight, but the knees soft. Okay, my arms. My arms are by my side driving as if I'm jogging because we can really go for it. You pump those arms, you're gonna move the feet fast. Oh, burpees, burpee out. One, two, three, four mountain climbers. Stand up, no jump. One, two, three, four, no jump. I nearly gave you a rest there. So the coordination required here will maybe take your mind off the fact that you're struggling, which is why I like these. One, two, three, four. Relax. Right, okay. Sip of water. We're at the top of the ladder. Good work. Now we need to go back down. So back down the ladder is simple. We drop off the first exercise each time. So your first exercise in 10 seconds is we're inchworms. So each run through is getting shorter and shorter now. It's the home run. Let's go for it. Away, inchworm, walk it in, stand up tall, straight into the next rep. Don't go, oh man, just go, okay. Keep throwing yourself in. As soon as you're up tall, you squeeze the glutes, you're straight back down. Squatting out's next. Stand by. Straight away, I'm up, first rep. Not the best setup, but I can adjust. As long as you get that first rep in, as soon as you can. Squatting down, pull the knees apart, really focus. Pull the knees apart, push the hips back, drive the toes, good. Feeling that, eh? good work. Next exercise, full crunch. You're lying on your back, as 
So be quick, come on. Let's keep going. Now we're away. Don't rest, just keep pushing yourself. So after this, we're up on my feet again, back into those shuffles, okay? And this is where it goes pretty quick. Only five exercises this time, and then four. Stand by. Go on your feet, shuffle. Just go, drive those arms. Move the legs. Good, really pump the arms. Look at my arms, I'm not doing jumping jack arms. I'm driving my arms as if I'm running. I'm driving my arms as if I'm running. I hope you don't want to like that, Donna. <laughs> driving the arms. There we are. That's better. Good. Try to go fast, pump the arms. Yeah, you too, Emma, come on. <laughs> Good. Burpee mountain climbers, go. Out. Four mountain climbers. Feet together, feet in. No jump. Push it hard now, because we're nearly done. Good. Getting a rest after this, so let's go for it. Good. Relax. Catch your breath. Okay, so now we drop inchworms off. Inchworms. So four exercises on this run through. That's why I urge you, push yourself. Because we're nearly done without realizing it. Okay? So we're starting on our squatting outs. Pardon me. Squatting outs, stand by. Three seconds and we're away. You're away too. Go. Good. After this, we're lying on our backs, full crunches. Let's work. Let's push it hard. Feet together, nice and light on the toes. Flat foot, drive the toes. Okay? So we're nice and light on the toes, but when we land for the squat, solid. Okay, drive those toes into the ground. Stand by for full crunches. Keep working. We're away. We go. First rep. Then keep it going. Shuffles after this. I want you getting up as fast as you possibly can when that buzzer goes. Don't preempt it. Keep working. Every rep counts. And you're in control of each rep and every rep that you do. So keep pushing. Keep the quality high. Stand by for shuffles. Put away. I'm straight up. Driving the arms. Driving the arms. And then get going. So I'm stood up nice and tall, nice and proud. These feet are fast. Again, the legs are pretty much straight, but I'm keeping the knees soft enough to absorb the impact. Okay? So you'll feel ridiculous. But this is a toughie. Gets the heart rate up. Tall, proud. Feel like you're working the core, which we should be here. Stand by. Burpee mountain climbers coming at you. We're away. One, two, three, four feet together. Stand up, no jump, remember. Go. 30 seconds rest after this, so work hard. There's your incentive. Keep going. Every rep. Relax. 30 seconds rest. Flying through it, like I said, the end is nearly here. We've only got three exercises on this run through. 90 seconds of work, followed by 30 seconds rest. Nearly finished. So we're straight into full crunches. Let's push this last bit, everybody, because you know we're nearly done. Five seconds. Stand by. Go. So again, get up. Try your best to lift that upper body off the ground. If you can't, because you don't have the strength, try. You might only get up an inch. That's an inch more than not trying. Might not even be an inch. Either way, try. You'll contract the core harder in doing so. You'll overload it more. And then one day, eventually, that inch will become three. 
four, until you're all the way up. Shuffle, stand by, we're away. Come on, go for them. Just move, drive the arms fast, soft knees. We're on the balls of the feet here. It's flutter kick, stand up tall, stand up proud. And you're gonna feel that core work. Okay, it's the core work in those legs. Keep going, keep pushing it. Burpee mountain climbers in five seconds. Don't think about it. As soon as that buzzer goes, get your first rep done. Stand by, go. One, two, three, four. Bring feet together, stand up tall, no jump. The no jump is gonna really get you flowing with these. Gonna get the reps done. 30 seconds rest after this. And then it's a two exercise run through. Oh, nearly done. Push it hard, come on. Relax, okay. All we've got now, two exercises. Shuffles and burpees, mountain climbers. Okay, 60 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. Stand by, work hard, yep, work hard. Second to last run through. Well done everyone, three, two, one, go. So I'm driving the arms, okay, feet, moving them fast. Short range of movement, just like a flutter kick would be. Knees are soft to absorb the impact, but I'm not lunging. Drive the arms fast, good, and the body will go with it. Next exercise in 10 seconds, burpee mountain climbers. That buzzer, boom, it's the starter gun. First rep, don't put your hands on your hips, just go down, one, two, three, four, and get up and go again, come on. Push it hard, came this far. If you're not pushing it hard when you're tired, what's the point? Everything you do before the point in which you start struggling is just getting you there to the point in which it counts. What you do when you're struggling is what makes all the difference. Good, relax, 30 seconds. Well, everyone, it's here. The last run through of the ladder, the last and final run through. Burpee mountain climbers, 30 seconds. This is where your tank gets emptied. All out, flat out, good quality reps only. 10 seconds. 30 seconds of work and then the morning is done. The circuit is done. So let's get it done. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four good quality mountain climbers. Make sure you're standing up tall. Good. One rep after the other. We're done after this. So don't save it. Don't slow down because you're tired. Oh, just keep going. Just keep pushing through. Be in control of that body. It's in the mind. Go. Good work. Nearly there, last rep. Good. Walk around, take your 60 seconds, it's yours. Catch your breath. Okay, shake everything out. Good. And well done. Well done indeed. So focus on your breathing and as always, cool down. You're trying to establish that equilibrium. Re-establish the equilibrium. Let's <laughs> roll the dictionary. So you're trying to get yourself back to a nice chilled state, heart rate down, your body not feeling like it's working all out flat out before you decide to chill out, okay? So right now, if I was to just go and sit down, that's not good. Okay, we need to get all this waste out of our muscles, get rid of all this carbon dioxide. <sighs> okay, regulate yourself. Regulate yourself. Good. So big breaths. And just ignore that horrible noise. Should make it something more, more nice. More nice. Is that even a thing? Right, that is us. Thank you very much. Ladder circuit, six exercise. exercises. Like I say, it's not easy, but the exercises were less demanding, okay? Less taxing on your body. 
So hopefully, you know, if you're feeling a wee bit stiff, a wee bit sore, if you've been keeping up with the workouts, this is almost act, acted like a bit of recovery, okay? But again, pff, feeling how I'm feeling now, it wasn't really recovery. But I'm sure you're feeling a lot better. For those of you who turned up, maybe feeling a little bit kind of, oh, feeling it today. You'll be feeling a hell of a lot better in your head, especially, yep, absolutely. Because I'm in that boat too, okay? Feeling it. But I'm thinking, keep pushing it. I'm going to keep pushing it today because tomorrow I'm going to take a day off. Okay, and I'm going to force myself to do that because if you can feel it. Listen to your body, as I keep saying. It's hard for me to tell you to take rest. Okay, you might turn up saying, oh, I'm feeling a wee bit sore and tired today. You know, it might just be that you're not very motivated today and you can't drag your ass along. Okay, and you don't need a rest. You just need to give yourself a kick up the ass. But then some people might be literally on the bones of their ass because they've been working hard. Okay, and again, that's relative to you and your fitness. Okay, not comparable to other people. Um, in which case you might need a rest. Sometimes it's hard to really know. It's hard to really, it really is hard to overtrain. I'm not going to lie, it is. Your body's very resilient. But it's kind of obvious, okay? Don't judge it as you get up in the morning, you feel a little bit tired and demotivated. You should have a rest day. Probably the best day not to take a rest day when you're feeling like that, because you'll feel like that all day long, okay? If you're feeling like, you know, if I train today, I'm probably going to be crap. I'm probably not going to get much more out of it. But if I save myself for tomorrow, I'll probably get a hell of a lot more out of it and I'll feel better for it. That's usually how I kind of go with my checklist in my head, okay? I don't have scheduled rest days. I take a rest day when I feel I need it, okay? So usually they're not together, but it might just work out that they are.